So I'm going to make a quick video tonight to talk about uh, adding an application delegate to your uh, Swift UI application. So one of the changes that Apple's done with their standard application template recently is if you're building a brand new Swift UI application, uh, it actually creates a, a, a new application from a template with two files. Uh, one is the, it could be the content view, which is going to be the view uh, for your application. And then it also creates one for, for the application. And both of these are structs. And so one of the problems with uh, using the application struct is that there's all kinds of features and stuff that you may want to use that aren't available if you're just using the application struct. So for, as a perfect example of this is push notifications. Push notifications, there's some setup that has to be done, uh, has to be done inside of the application delegate. And so what I want to do is show a quick video on how to do this. I have a, a blog post that describes uh, how to do this as well. Uh, I also have it up on Medium. But I also want to make this quick video here to kind of describe uh, exactly how you go about doing this. So if we come right here, uh, I went ahead and created a brand new application called Sample App. And as you can see here, it's created this content view. And there's also this Sample App, which is also a struct. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new file. And it's very easy to do that. I'm just going to come here and select the, app, uh, the folder the application's in. Say New File. I'm going to use Cocoa Touch Class. Click Next. And I'm going to call this App Delegate. And then you can see right here, this is a subclass, the NS object. And then I'm going to use Swift as my default language. Go ahead and create that. Place the existing file that I had in there. OK. So now I have this uh, app delegate file here. But in order for it to be an app delegate that's recognized by, uh, by the application, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple things. One of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add in UI application delegate so it conforms to that, that protocol. And now that I've done that, I'm going to add in here a method here for the application startup. I'm going to say did application finish launching with options. And you can see here that it's already uh, scaffolded this out. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say print my application started. And I'm also going to come over here and I'm going to say return true because this is expecting a bool. All right. So now that I've done that, now I need to be able to import that inside of my application. And the way to do that is if you go to your app struct, right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add in a new property into the struct. And the way we can do that is we can say, uh, I'm going to use a property wrap here called UI application delegate adapter. And I'm going to say var app delegate. App delegate as the type and that is it so let's test that and see if that actually is working here so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a breakpoint in here just to see if this fires up and I'm gonna run the application and let's see what happens so I've started the simulator here and it looks like it stopped on the breakpoint or no it's still starting up And I'm going to come over here to the view, debug, activate console. And there it says my app has started. And continue running. And there's my application. So that is basically all you have to do to add an app delegate uh, into your application if it's a Swift UI application. If you like this video, like to see more content like this, please give this a video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I can do more videos like this. That is it. Have a nice evening. Thank you.